Okay, so I've been doing a lot of tasks for these horse people. And in the mine shaft, we find an ancient Shadow Scythe ship. And when we try to access the data, it recognizes that, the, uh, that we are unauthorized and then sends a distress call to Captain Valeth. Um, I know, and uh, seeing as uh, what he's saying now, I suppose that uh, the ship is so ancient that it uh, it does not know that he has been upgraded to uh, Commander Valeth or Lord Valeth, I guess. <laughs> but this is the first time we we actually see I, which is I believe the big uh, final boss of Mac Quest. So I thought this was worth recording. What, what is this? Who dares address me as Captain? Wait, I see. That was so long ago. <laughs> Excellent work, Mechia. It seems you have recovered one of our relics from the past. Originally, I was going to ignore that barren rock, West Yarn. However, I really shouldn't ignore an emergency signal. I'll send help immediately. <laughs> Okay, so now we've uh, fulfilled the prophecy <laughs> of these people that a visitor will cause doom to, to rain down from the sky or something. Because now, um, oh, is he says it here, I am the visitor, yeah, we could have seen that coming. Um, so now uh, Lord, Lord Valeth uh, is going to try to destroy uh, Westy on this planet, I guess, and we are going to have to defend it. And now the people do have an incentive to unite with us um, against the Shadow Scythe. So that'll be a new ally if we manage to survive this. Evil Corp must have been searching for that ship. Great war between dragons and Shadow, Th Shadow Scythe, yes. The dragons won, but at a great price. They have not been seen in the galaxy for over 10,000 years. According to ship logs, the charged starship drifted through space. A light with dragon's fire, until it finally crashed here on Westion. Lord Valeth was a captain in this ancient war. He must be a very ancient and powerful being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems to have caught his attention, yes! <laughs> so now what? Emergency town meeting. Roy Silver. Hello, Mechia. There have been some reports of a mysterious figure stealing from the train. Is it really our primary concern right now? Okay, we'll skip this. I'll be back. Oh, she's heard about my massive speakers. <laughs> okay, that, that was the entire line. Great. Oh. You seem like an important character, aren't you, J6? You're not supposed to be here. Some guy just took the glowy rock from the engine. No way, it wasn't me. Sure it was. Now where is he now? Did he just fly out the window? No, he flew out that tube. Quick, we can still catch him. Are you crazy? You got blown off the top. Here, use his gravity. Sh oh, he be believes it now. Load armor. Oh my god, okay. Chase, okay, Jesus. Okay, we got this. Oh, that was easy. How many hits does he take? It's over, there's nowhere to hide. Give back what you took. You know I like you. You've got a quick draw. Need some practice, but you've got potential, kid. Okay, let's make a deal. If you can beat me in a duel, it's all yours. What? I just beat you in six duels. If I was trying to defeat you, you would have been disabled in the engine room. I was just testing your shooting skills. So, do you think you can beat me one last time? Oh, it's an actual western-style duel. But ah, best two out of three. No time. This is my stop. I'll be in town if you want to come by and sharpen those reflexes. What a pity. Too bad. Looks like he got away. At least this is the last we'll see of him, though. By the way, I took some credits to repair the damage you got. Next time, try not to get hit. Ah! I'm infuriating! Yes, yes, he's got great, great reflexes. But I've got massive speakers. Notorious bandits. Kidnapping of the ambassadors. I want, I just want to <laughs> prevent the, the invasion of Valeth and the Shadow Scythe. 
I don't care. And then arrest warrants. Sure. You've got some strange priorities. What? Evil Corp Space Station? Okay. Welcome to Evil Corp Space Station 13. Do you have an appointment with Mrs. Zorbeck? No. Ooh. I need to remember that sentence. It is a forgivable transgression considering your inferior memory. Yeah, okay. Oh no, a very long elevator ride. I just wanted a hundred floors. Oh, I'm actually not uh, equipped to deal with this. Uh, oh god. We actually lost! We actually can't handle these mecha. So we have to get out of here, I guess. No appointments with Mr. Zorbeck. Oh no, we have to. But we're too weak, what do you want? Alright, we are back. We've... Um, Trained a lot, done a lot of stories in between it. I'll show at some other point, or I won't show at all. Anyway, we are a lot stronger now. So, we should be able to, uh, well, as you can see, we are all at floor 97. We are definitely able now to uh, make it to the top and have our uh, meeting, unannounced meeting with Mr. Zorbag. All right, there we go. Well, Mackie, I see you made it past security, but I must ask you to leave now. Why, where's Mr. Z? You do not have an appointment. I see I must jettison you and your Mecca from the station myself. Ooh! Stuck at an only extreme. Oh, that's a, bit, that's a pity. You know, I love my extreme fights. Maria 13. You are clearly no match for us. No, I am beaten! This is impossible! Oh, well, there's apparently nothing I can do to stop you from intruding on Mr. Z. I am finished. I will surely be sent away for genetic reconfiguration now. Mr. Zorbeck does not look kindly on failure. Your position is hopeless. You will never be able to defeat Mr. Z. I hear Mr. Z's mecha engine starting up now. Goodbye forever, Mechia. You are finished! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of a cute mecha. I think, though, we should be able to take him. I like how Mr. Z how the Z in his name tag, Mr. Z, is in, air in between air quotes now. We all know your name. Uh, it is a bit of a close battle. But we are ahead in HP now. Next turn, he's finished. There we go. Ooh, he escapes! To be continued! I thought we were going to have a conversation. No, um, what is this? Rocks? Bombs disguised as rocks? And the, and the evil cop space station? Hmm, the asteroids are unusually thick for this time of year. Oh no. You're right, and the sparkling red lights are new as well. Indeed, maybe it's some of those space fairies that we read so much about. That's ridiculous. Meanwhile, on a shadow side base in a distant galaxy. That's Valeth. Not Valeth. Our infantry forces have begun landing on planet Westium. The invasion armada is approaching the planet now. Excellent. This planet will be an excellent testing ground for our newest weapon. But first, ensure that the ship that is buried in the planet is extracted successfully. You know the penalty for failure. Of course, Lord Valif. Failure is not an option. Hmm. After your bungled scouting mission to planet Lorion, I am not so sure I have faith in your abilities. No, please, Lord Valif. He force jokes him. 
<laughs> the ship buried on West Dion was built using ancient technology long lost in the Ligeia incident. However, once I repossess the ship buried on West Dion, the Shadow Scythe Empire will be unstoppable! Ooh, those are pretty. Whoa, the meteors are everywhere this season. That's kind of odd. I wish if, wonder if this has anything to do with the prophecy. Yeah, yeah, it has. It has begun. And the bombs, they are packed with mecha, of course. Okay, so we were just in a mine shaft on Westion to remove a bomb placed by the Shadow Scythe. However, uh, one of their robots, when we were about to defeat them, uh, started um, destroying the mine and we, uh, we got buried in the rubble, I think. And uh, now apparently we wake up days later with uh, with this person in front of us. Mechia, I am Tikala, High Priestess of the Vulcarium. I have searched for you for many days. I pulled your body from the mines and healed your wounds. The Shadow Scythe believe that you have been destroyed. This may work to your advantage. I have studied the prophecies all of my life. We initially believed that you were the stranger that is foretold to awaken an ancient evil that brings doom onto our land. However, I believe that the stranger in the prophecy refers to the Shadow Scythe themselves. The prophecy continues to foretell the burning of the planet, when the sands of the desert are lit with the inner fires of Westion. The Vilkarin believe that an ancient guardian lies sleeping within the deepest reaches of the planet. I fear the Shadow Scythe are going to awaken this guardian and it is going to set fire to the planet. I have chosen you to be our protector, of course. I will find you again when the time comes. Okay. Meanwhile, on the Shadow Scythe base in a distant galaxy, The path is moving forward perfectly. With Mechia out of the way, the invasion of Westion will go flawlessly. I do hope Westion enjoys the little present I got them. I looked everywhere for one. Ooh, it's the Dragonoid Crystal uh, asteroid, right? But aren't the Dragonoids supposed to be on our side? I say, we're at war! I sure could use some help dealing with the Shadow Scythe. Oh my god, the wave counter and the rank. Okay, this is going to take a while again. Okay, okay, so I'm trying to once again increase my rank at some... At some grindy thing. And, and here you need to play card games. And I'm playing Blackjack. <laughs> And uh, so you need to get to 21, or clo as close to it without going over, and the uh, best 4 out of 7 of those of games wins. And I, for the life of me, I cannot win. I mean, I have to at least draw this, but of course it's a, he gets 21 as well, so it's a draw, okay. 20, I should stand. That's, that's a logical decision. Okay, and we win that round. But, okay, I'll, I'll take a hit here. Okay, go over. That's probably my bad. 17, I will stand here. And he gets 21! The, the, the exact highest you can get! 15, I'll take a hit. Okay, 19, stand. And he gets 21! <laughs> okay, 17, I guess I'll stand. And he gets 21! What? <laughs> <laughs> For the life of me, I cannot win this game. I, I mean, I've tried so many times. <laughs> it's six. One more hit. Seventeen. I have to stand. It's twenty-one. <laughs> I mean, it has to be rigged, right? This cannot be. And I go over by one point. Exactly twenty-one. Stand. Come on, don't get 21 now. Oh, thank you, okay. One win, two losses in this game. I'll take a hit. Now I have to stand. Yes! Okay, it's two against two. One more hit. 
No, darn it. A hit. Uh, one more hit. Yeah, I guess I'll... I'm not going to win if I stand like this. I have to get another hit. And, tw and one point over. Yeah, okay, and I lose again. Come on. 17, I'll stand. He gets 21. 20, stand. He gets 21. So let me win one game. I go over. Hit. I go over. Stand. It's 18 points. And he gets 21 and I lose. My god. <laughs> I can never win this game. 21. Stand. Thank you. 20. Stand. Nice. Hit. 20. Stand. 21. Dang. Hit. Ah, hit. Darn it. Hit. Hit. Ah! Hit. Hit. Stand. Yes. Come on, win this one. Ah, 17. I guess I have to stand. Uh, <laughs> you're so close. I can make an hour long video about me losing his blackjack. <laughs> this is infuriating. Stand. He gets 21. <laughs> uh, it's 21. Stand. Nice. Come on. It's, it's, nice stand. Of course you get twenty one. Okay. <laughs> I mean this has to be rigged, right? I, twenty stand. Don't get twenty one. Yeah, thank you. Hit. Uh. Hit. Stand. Yes! Okay, win this one! Come on, come on, come on! 20, stand! You can only beat me with 21! Yes! I won one! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, wow, wow! <laughs> well, okay, okay. I guess I'm leaving this in. I guess I can. Okay, back to the. I, I I don't uh, recommend gambling. I think I shouldn't gamble either. <laughs> okay, after collect collecting 100 tons of scrap metal for this guy, um, we hear that the starship engines on that old starship uh, are uh, are being activated. We get better get out there. Oh boy. Yes, everything is shaking. We're all going to die. Dang. <laughs> that, that starship is very much operational still. Shoot it down! This is ridiculous. I agree, horse people. This is indeed ridiculous. It has activated its force field. I, I, yeah, the shields are too strong. Call for backup. Oh, it just escapes. Meanwhile, on a shadow side base in a distant galaxy. <laughs> Everything is good and moving ahead of schedule. Now we can wake up our little pet. The Dragonoid. Finally, can we see the Dragonoid? It's a zero. Well, our defenses have fallen. The Shadow Scythe are mobilizing their Dragonoid to finish the job. Okay. Ooh, cutscenes. Oh, movie. Uh, everyone, grab your popcorn. Oh my god! 
Whoa. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> if anyone's out there, I could use a little help. You going at Starbucks? Ooh, I think Kirby spliced that thing. Oh, it's Starstorm from a and the story we skipped. Star Storm, Starbuck, this is Starstorm. The cavalry has arrived. King Eltion, do you copy? This is King Eltion. I've never shown up in the Let's Play before since my cameo was uh, cut out after <laughs> after the reveal that Robina is Dread Pirate Rhubarb. But this is me. Those sand Shadow Scythe don't stand a chance against the Arthurian army. Destroy them at once. Beautiful synchronization. You showed up just in time. If I went a second longer without help, I would have been toast. We're here to help, Starbuck. With our fleets combined, we can defend Westion. The might of the Arthurian army is at your disposal. I'll inform my men that backup has arrived. My fleet is in its last leg. I'm grateful that you've arrived. Meanwhile, we get it now. Ooh, it's a sepulcher, Mecca. My lord, the enemies have received reinforcements. The numbers have more than doubled. What are your orders, sir? <laughs> Good. Now we can squash them all at once. Initiate Plan Gamma immediately. Let's show them that the Shadow Scythe are the true rulers of the universe. As you command, my lord, I will awaken it immediately. Finally, awaken the Dragonoids. It's green crystals now? Oh, it has been corrupted by the Shadow Scythe, I see. Oh, because they have green lights on their ship. Very, very in theme. Oh, but it's, this is our buddy. Hmm, I sense the presence of an old friend. Don't do it. He's been brainwashed. Next cutscene. Bluish grey fox in sector 2, it looks like Shadow Scythe are retreating. Wait, what's that? Oh no! Oh my god, we actually got obliterated. Kratos. Long time since we last flapped wings in the same space, friend Triclelos. Sure. There is a familiar scent about you. Yes, Dracrylos. I was Dracrylos. The messing of Shadow Scythe forces gives off a tremendous stink. It is a wonder that I could sense your presence at all. What one can do alone, many can do more swiftly. We were never many, and far fewer now since the Ligeia incident. It all is not lost. Our enemies are grown stronger, but together we can move against them, to turn the tide of the battle. The war goes well, victory is already assured, I only await his orders. You said is the stench comes from within you this cannot be there is only what is and what shall be what the shadow scythe are our sworn enemies you are you are not the dracrylos i once called brother and friend your eyes you are an abomination how could you till death do his part Wow. Well, at least we have a Dragonoid of our own. Maybe they sort of cancel each other out. Oh, they do sort of cancel each other out. Looks like we've held them off as long as possible. We need to evacuate everyone immediately. Let's do the finale. I guess we're going to fight the Dragonoid. Oh no. It's it's Corin. I actually already know about him because I, I, I've played some, some stories out of order. But uh, okay, we, we meet him for the first time here, I guess. It's fancy meeting you here, Mechia. Seems like you're in a little pickle here, hmm? Who are you? 
What? You stand here and tell me you don't remember me? I've been plaguing you since I was born. Well, uh, have we met before then? What? You know, I would never forget about you. That would just be plain rude, wouldn't it? Fancy me? Okay, yeah, help us. You want me to help and save Westion? I must admit that this could prove to be entertaining. Why should I do it? The Shadow Scythe are evil. They are? Who said they were evil? What makes you so heroic and nice? That was a horrible reason, however. I think I'll do it. What? For a price! Under a condition of my choosing! And if you don't, can't know yet! And I will save Westion! Do you accept? Uh, okay. Then I'll be right back. Meanwhile, at Gears University? What? Oh, you're going to st What? <laughs> that can be good. The deal has begun. Using Dean Warlick of, D of Gears University's DNA, I've created a new life in this world. You won't meet him just yet, but his name is Jim. Using Dean Warlick's DNA had a strange kickback, though. It turns out that using his DNA has forced Jim to be evil. A little unexpected, but it sounds like an adventure. Now for my end of the deal, escape pods will be landing everywhere that there is life on this planet. Once everybody is on board, the pods will evacuate everyone to a safe location. I suggest everyone get guarded because this will be a wild ride. Alright. What a strange development. Certain... what pod? No. Doom pod. It is escape. Once everyone's on board, we'll take off, which I hope is soon. I'm sure the Shadow Scythe don't want us leaving. Well, I wonder... This is the end for you, dear friend. Oh, my god! It is the end for him! I don't want to stick around for this. I wonder if the others will take off in time. Oh no. What's going on? Didn't take off yet. Ah, oh, the Dragonoid. Oh, it looks like a Death Star now. Now it looks less like a Death Star. Although, I guess this is also what happens to the Death Star. Not that the Dragonoid crashes into it, but... Uh, oh no. I have other plans for you. What? Who are you? Clear, clear, clearly a powerful being that uh, reminds me of Q from Star Trek The Next Generation, if anyone's seen that. Meanwhile... Lord Valeth, we've encountered a few complications during our conquest. What? <laughs> Westion has been destroyed by the Dragonoid. So, let it burn! As long as we have the Dragonoid, we're unstoppable! Yes, but, sir, the Dragonoid has gone missing. Ah, no, uh, please, Lord Svella! <sighs> Where could it have gone? We can't end our conquest in victory by our forces alone. We must regroup and rethink our strategy. They will all pay for this. Oh. A cowboy boot. Is it J6? No, it's Evil Jim. <laughs> Look out, universe. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's a school, right? I agree. Who? The people were on Westion? They're safe. They were actually teleported to somewhere on Gark. It's not the best location, so finding them might be important. Then again, I'm sure they'll manage. You shouldn't have to worry about the Shadow Scythe or the Dragonoid for a while. Evil Jim, though. He can be a little cheesy, almost always, but he's not someone you want to mess with. Moving on. Okay. 